guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Radium, and today I have another episode of Midas' Prodigy for all of you. Um, I've had some pretty significant issues, which I'll briefly explain now for the series. But to make a long story short, I've had to go to a different world. Uh, certain bosses weren't spawning in, like I'd used the spawner and they just literally wouldn't appear. And so I couldn't make any progress past Providence, as the spawner just quite frankly wouldn't work. So this is a new world. It's uh, not finished, because this is a build I've started making, and my builders, um, my like world builders are in a significantly different time zone to me. And so I couldn't get the build complete today. But I just want to make some progress regardless for the character. I've raced myself up to where I was anyways. And so we've got a lot to do for today, a lot of fun stuff. And it should be really interesting, honestly. Uh, with that said, allow me to gather my thoughts quickly, and I'll be right back with you guys to craft some massive upgrades for us. But yeah, just to quickly explain what I'm doing, I'm going to have three different castles. Uh, or obviously enough, it's quite a simplistic build, but I just, first of all, wanted to change things up. And secondly, um, obviously I had to change thanks to some glitches. Okay, so first of all, this um, right-hand pylon is like crafting stations, which which is good fun. I think it looks good. This is just like riches for the sake of the story and the lore. And then this one's just a massive storage one. So I think it looks really good, honestly. Uh, but there's obviously a lot to do still. It's a good layout, but nowhere near finished. So that's what we're stuck with for the time being. Anyways, uh, we should get to crafting these ma amazing upgrades. First of all, I'm obviously enough going to craft the entire nebula armor. This is going to be a massive upgrade for us. Additionally, I've made the nebula pickaxe and hammer axe. Uh, this armor is going to be great for us. And we can also make two weapons. First of all, we can make the elemental ray, which is a combination of galactic singularities, which is basically all of these put together into one thing. Uh, Luminite Bars, which are from the Moon Lord, and the Terror Ray, which is an amazing weapon we got a long while ago. Uh, next up, we have the Genesis, which is a combination of the Laser Machine Gun, Luminite, and Life Alloy, which is a combination of different modded bars throughout Hard Mode. So, both of these weapons are going to be great for us. I don't exactly know how strong they are, but I've, um, I'll have i soon have the ability to test out the DPS of them, so I'll definitely do that shortly. Additionally, just whilst I'm heading to hell, I should update you on the new life improvement stuff I've got. I crafted myself the home improvement from Calamity, uh, which is just like insanely good building speed, basically. And I've also made this improved drill mount, which is just infinite drill speed, basically. Uh, let's just get into this. First of all, I need to turn this off. Uh, we need to go look for certain enemies. Uh, in this biome, so the last prism is obviously a good option. This is a good chance for me to scout out what my options are, actually. So, the last prism is obviously amazing for DPS. Um, the lunar flare is pretty good. I don't think it's on par with any of the other weapons, unfortunately, but it's still super strong. Um, the Genesis? Whoa, I didn't see what this thing did. Okay, this might actually be one of my strongest weapons. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's incredibly fast, does a lot of damage. Bro, this is mad. Okay, then lastly, I know what the elemental ray does, because I love this weapon. And for mage uh, playthroughs, I always craft it. Just because of how fun it is to use. It's one that you can normally just tank with most classes, but... I can't guarantee that for this time around. Let's see. I'm probably going to use the last prism here, but I couldn't tell you what's the best. Hmm. Ow. Okay, there. Okay, this is not the best spell. Okay, we've got one of them though, so that's a good start. Issue is how fast they are. Oh god, I'm not good at this. This is hard without wings, you know. Really hard, in fact. It sounds dumb, but wings just help so much. And I can't really imagine myself doing Providence without wings. Just because the jumps are going to be so difficult to gauge. Ow. Um, additionally, I have to note that this world, originally I was using as my alternate world. So, 
What's it called? I have some details basically. Uh, like I've already defeated uh, Providence on this world for my speedrunning world. It's kind of difficult to explain, but that's the gist of it. Okay, let's try out the other spells. I've just been using this thing. Honestly, Lunaflare is not bad. It's just not up there. Uh, Genesis is just shredding, and I'm not even going to use the elemental ray. I'll save it. And there we go. That was easy enough. Okay, everyone. I think I'm actually going to hold off on Providence for a little bit. I got absolutely destroyed, so... Quite simply, I'm just going to go try the next boss I'm um, logistically to do. And... The next boss I'm supposed to do is known as Dragon Folly. It used to be called Bumblebub for those who are um, confused by this boss, but... It's, it's a really difficult fight, honestly, so I'm going to build a small arena, just a couple of layers of platforms. I feel like that will really help me out for this. Um, additionally, I'm going to be subbing off my improved draw mount, because it's unfair to use as I'm literally faster than the boss. So, anything else, however, is fair game for this fight. I think literally, like, two layers will do, technically. It's just to give me a little bit of um, diversity in terms of my movement. And for this fight, I'm going to use the last prism. Screw it. Last prism's good fun. Okay, so the boss, like, charges at you, I believe. And I forgot to turn unlimited mana on. That's a Lawai AFK accessory, by the way, but you can easily just replace it for the Mana Flower. And my main reason for using it is to make these fights slightly quicker. As I don't want runtime to be stupidly long just because of bad DPS. And yeah, this is an incredibly difficult fight. At least without wings. And also, I don't think this boss really can net me anything all that useful. Which is kind of unfortunate. Jeez, he's being aggressive. He's just charging. However, when we keep our distance like this, this is where we can do like 5 DPS f for free, basically. No, 5% of his health, sorry. Seem to be doing quite well so far, though, so... Oh god, I'm dead. <laughs> Okay, we've gone to the next phase at least. Which means aggression. Yeah, I honestly don't know how to combat this fight at all. It's such a strange one. There's just loads of projectiles to dodge. And I think at this stage he stops spawning in the little dudes. It's just him. Oh, gee. Ow. Uh, we should be good though, we're on 13% for him. And ultimately we should definitely have this in the bag. So yeah, that's a fun little fight to do. Uh, nothing too significant obviously, and the rewards aren't going to be too stellar, but... Hopefully we can get a magic weapon? Uh, no we didn't. But I mean... It was a fun fight to do regardless. Hey guys, once again, this is Post Editing Radium speaking to you. Uh, this fight was just so difficult, I physically couldn't talk if I wanted to do it. That's all there really is to it. Uh, there's just so much going on. And with the limited and extremely sporadic movement I have from the Moab, uh, the free jump bottles really don't provide that much like streamline movement, which this fight heavily demands. Okay. Uh, for example, dodging these fireballs which you are seeing now is nigh impossible, and if I get unlucky, the game can literally just say no and just kill me because I physically cannot dodge some of them. Uh, this is honestly my second attempt of the battle. I tried it before Dragon Fully once and just got pummeled. But the second I shut up, I actually managed to destroy it. Well, you can barely call it destroy it as I still really struggled, but... The damage is great well, with the elemental ray. If you have a better computer, I'd heavily recommend using the Genesis as it's a brilliant weapon. But for the sake of the footage, I decided to go for the raid just because it doesn't lag. And nobody likes looking at laggy gameplay. Uh, even if you don't craft either of those, though, the last prism can still do this fight. And I still use it for some of this fight. Because it helps for the profane guardian phase, in my opinion. Anyways, the fight starts off really quick. Like, I start doing loads of damage in extreme amounts of time. 
And, you know, it's great fun. There's so much going on, and it is RNG-based, unfortunately, but it's still as enjoyable as ever. One thing I would say is that after this fight, I'll have so many options for mobility. As I can go over old bosses to get different mounts, weapons, armors, um, just random items as well. That would really help me out. Um, honestly, there's not too much to say about the fight, however, so I'm just going to let myself... Uh, show you the rest of it. So I hope you all enjoy. Okay, come on, 2%. Yes! Okay, that did not take... That, that was literally my first try. Literally my first try. Jesus Christ, I was not expecting to do that. I was not expecting to do that at all. <sighs> that was really fun as well. That fight is such good fun. And just really enjoyable. Oh my lord. Um, I'm kinda lost now, I don't know what to do. I think I have a rune of cause and some more divine geodes somewhere. So, I'm gonna meet you guys back after I've prepared everything and I'm ready to take the next step in the game. Okay everyone, with the divine geodes I got from, uh, what's it called, Providence, I'm going to start putting them towards Tarragon armor. This is a brilliant set, I believe it cost 36, no, 44. And additionally, I need to get Eula Bloom, which is an ore I can get in the underground. So I'm just going to grab this, we're going to go digging as fast as possible, and we're going to go grab some Eula Bloom. Should be a good trip. And I'm going to use Home Improvement, just so I have a little bit more control. That's Eula Bloom there. So at least now we know what to look for. Uh, this is going to be a pretty significant upgrade over um, Nebula, I believe. But I couldn't tell you how much stronger, because I just never really make it normally. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, this is faster. Let's just use this. <laughs> Only issue is it's almost too fast. But yeah, I don't exactly know how much I need. I'm just going to grab as much as I can. And just pray that it's enough. And with this upgrade, we're going to have more defense, more health, more damage. And this is going to be our armor for the Sentinels of the Scourge. Okay, I believe this should be enough. <clears throat> I'm pretty much coming towards the end of my Eula Bloom farming. I'm 100% sure I have enough for like a good amount of stuff now. So, hopefully we are not... 
<clears throat> I can't even speak, sorry. Hopefully we have enough for the full armor, but I couldn't tell you for sure yet. But I have been digging for a while, and I am pretty confident. Let's see. 313. Surely that's enough. Uh, let's go back to base. And let's see. I'm guessing I'll craft this at a uh, forge. Oh, no. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Eula Bloom bars. Brilliant. Okay. So, I've got 62 of them. And do I craft at the Ancient Manipulator? Yes, I do. Okay, let's see. Tarragon Throwing Dodge. Jesus. Uh, I can make a Blossom Pickaxe. I can make the Dragon Egg for Yarin already. And, well, all I really want to make is the Tarragon Armor. So, I'm going to quickly just look for some stuff to trash and then we'll make it. Okay, let's see. No, that's Ranger. That's magic. So, magic helmet. Mm, uh, and then just... Regulars. So, this set gives us a lot of good buffs. And looks like it does a lot more for me. Yeah, 308, 2... 308, so it's equal, and we get more, way more defense. Literally, like, 30 more defense and a better set bonus. So I'm pretty confident in taking down some of the Sentinels of the Scourge now. Oh, with that said, I'm going to try and do so. Okay, guys, the first boss I'm going to take down out of the Servants. It's a bit of a weird one for most people, because they normally do this guy last, but I'm going to be fighting Cygnus. Uh, I'm pretty confident with this boy, so... I should be alright. Let's just see how it goes. If I die, I die. I'll just keep trying this until I do this one. Because in truth, it's the only one out of all of these which I'm confident in my ability to do. Which is kind of surprising because I keep getting hit. And this can give me some difficulties. But we could have this. Let's see. Oh god, I've got uh, unlimited mana off. That's why I was doing so little damage. Because <laughs> initially I was going to do a Stormweaver first, but... Apparently that's kind of difficult as a mage. There's no amazing homing spells available at this point, I don't believe anyways. Ow. Ah. Uh. God, this fight is difficult though. Very difficult. And I might die as well, so that'll be embarrassing. Because these are genuinely the bosses I need to be doing now. Ow. Okay. It's definitely possible. Definitely possible. Ow. He does so much damage, though. That's the only issue. Okay, but we seem to be alright. The damage is just so lackluster now. I will get some bonuses soon, which increase the damage. But this is literally the best I can do for the time being. And, you know, it's, it's not terrible or anything. Just could be better, you know? Alright. Let's see if Cygnus drops anything. I'm pretty sure he only drops uh, rogue and summon weapons, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, and he didn't even drop a weapon, but... We got the Twisting Never, which is an important resource, I believe. It's used to make... Oh, not even a magic weapon. But at the same time, we use it to make Cosmic Worm, which is obviously going to be really important. Guys, this episode might be slightly shorter than usual, but I've decided I'm going to end it here. I'm just incredibly tired, and I'm going to be honest, I've failed so many times at um, Poltergeist, the Ceaseless Void, and the Stormweaver. So it's going to take me a long while to finish, uh, figure them out, I guess. Uh, in the meantime, though, I just have to say thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy, then feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.